welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So excited for this video because I'm finally revealing my brand new kitchen. So excited, honestly. Like, I've been wanting to show you this for so long, but it's not quite been finished until about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a long, bulky video, so bear with me. I want to make sure I've got everything in it. I have written a blog post over on my blog which goes into more detail about the kitchen and basically before and afters and the kitchen reveal. Then I'm going to do separate in-depth blog posts about the extension and then how we actually designed the kitchen. So if you want to know more about that then make sure you keep up to track with my blog post over on sophiehanna.co. Um, but yeah, right, let's get straight into it. I'm going to be putting in little video clips and photos from the last sort of six months of when we've been renovating. I've tried to film and take photos as much as I could over the time period. So then, because I knew I was going to film this video for you guys and show you. So, let's go back to the start. The kitchen before. So, when we bought this house, the kitchen was very, very small. The floor to ceiling height was probably just over six foot which is very, very, very short. Like, basically Robin's head pretty much touched the top of the ceiling in the kitchen, which wasn't ideal, but we just thought this house looked like it had so much potential with renovating, and we just thought, you know what? We've always wanted a massive open plan kitchen, so let's do a kitchen extension. We actually didn't plan on doing the kitchen extension straight away. We were gonna wait about a year or two years to save up. However, when we got the keys to the house, and we had a little look around, we realized we had rats. Yay! So the rats were nesting in the kitchen roof. Not fun. And they were getting in because basically outside of the kitchen, right at the end, built with built under the roof. So the roof kind of went along still, but outside and it had this open area beneath the roof which was on the end of the kitchen that housed the oil tank. So this house actually had oil. We actually changed from oil to gas, which took eight months. Never ever do it, it was a friggin' nightmare. And if you watch my vlogs, then you will realize how much of a pain it was and it was so stressful. But yeah, anyway, enough about that. Uh, yeah, so we wanted to remove the oil tank and because that's basically where the rats were coming in. So we realized we had to basically do the kitchen extension straight away. So we had to get planning permission. That took about four months. We had an architect come around, draw up designs. I chatted to him about what I wanted. We worked together. Um, but obviously I'm gonna go into more detail about that in my blog post. Um, but yeah, so it took, us, it took about four months to get planning permission. We got planning permission February, March. And then we managed to find a builder and he was available in May and June, which was amazing. Cause we were like, this is perfect. These are the months that we wanted the kitchen to be done, so then we could actually move in after summer. Um, so yeah, got the kitchen extension done. Um, basically, we kept our breakfast room. So when you walk through the house, there's a little breakfast room, and then you walk in to the kitchen. So we kept the breakfast room. Ideally, I wanted it to be all open plan and just be this massive space where we could have like a section of the utility room, section of the kitchen. But basically, there's a window in one of the rooms at the back and it would have meant we would have basically closed that up and legally, not legally, I don't really know the word, but basically, with building regs, you're not really allowed to block up a window when uh, on, an, on an inhabitable room. So, we decided to keep the breakfast room and turn that into a utility room, which I'm gonna do another video about that. And then we've created this little mini courtyard thing out the back of the house. And then we kind of extended out and forwards into the garden. So I'm gonna show you the garden later on. And, but yeah, I'm obviously in certain clips so you guys can sort of see. So as you can see, we've gone out of the house. So basically, yeah, the ground had to be dug up, um, foundations had to be laid, and then, yeah, they built brick up, they insulated it all. Um, we got a skylight put in, we had bifold doors put in, and the space is amazing. It's, I think, I think it is six meters long by about five meters wide. Quite a big space, and it was amazing because obviously before we had this massive bit of area down the side of the house 
went next to the kitchen, which was just like a random kind of like pave, pavement area. So it, it did mean we could just double the kitchen and extend completely outwards. But do you know what I have to say? Since opening up the garden and cutting down all the trees and everything, we haven't actually done the garden yet, by the way, so don't judge later. Um, but yeah, we have still got an amazing space in the garden. So it didn't really, we didn't actually lose anything, to be honest with you. So yeah, the whole extension took about two months and then obviously the kitchen and everything inside i reckon the whole thing on a whole took two and a half to three months really from start to finish um so quite a lengthy time period luckily we weren't living in the house so it was absolutely fine for us in terms of cooking and things because we had a rather house to live in um but yeah so that's the time frame of how long it took and it was amazing seeing it come to life like every day we'd pop around chat to our builder see what he was up to um, there's a couple of little things um, that went a bit wrong, so we had to like alter a few things, but actually it was pretty smooth. It's probably the smoothest process of the whole house so far, the kitchen. Um, you know, it was done in the time frame that the builder said he didn't go over in price, and he even, every time we came back, would be like, oh, we really want to do this, and he was like, oh, I'll do it for you, like I've got spare time, so we were like, oh my god, amazing, so he actually ended up patioing the garden area in front of the bifold doors and kitchen around the edge of the kitchen because we've got a little alleyway and in the courtyard out the back he put a new fence up for us he put a garden gate up for us so we could lock the dogs in and keep them in the garden so yeah he actually did quite a little bit more than he was meant to obviously we paid him um but yeah so we ended up staying a little bit longer and moving a few jobs around but it was so helpful to us so we're so grateful for him and i would honestly highly recommend him he was so good such a nice guy and he worked with us and kind of did everything that we wanted and kind of made our visions come to life. So once the extension was actually up and the building was up and it was being plastered and boarded and the electrics were put in and everything, we popped to Howden's. Now our builder has a trade account with Howden's and you have to have someone that's got a trade account to be able to get a kitchen from there. So we went with Howden's. I looked at DIY kitchens online and they looked really good you could basically have any color you wanted like they would bespoke paint them for you but it looked confusing because you basically had to design the kitchen on there get the measurements exactly right order everything and i just feel like you need a builder to sit with you and design it on there and order everything and like no one's got that much time to to dedicate to that so we went with howden's and we had all our architect drawings that we gave to the designer at Howden's. We sat down, we spoke about what we wanted, we went into their showroom, looked at all their cupboard doors, their handles, everything. And we decided to go with their Fairford charcoal kitchen. Basically, it was really hard to actually making a final decision. Like I, I really, really wanted a deep, like dark green kitchen originally, but I don't know, and, and, and actually I even wanted navy, but everyone started getting navy and I was like, oh, I just didn't know. But then I fell in love with House of Scotton's on Instagram, her kitchen, and it was beautiful. It was like the wallpaper that I had dreamed of. I loved the kitchen units. I loved the color scheme. I loved everything. And then when I discovered the wallpaper, I actually discovered Divine Savages. This wallpaper behind me. And basically I was like, yep, yeah, this is my theme. I'm going for pink, black, and gold. Like I set a color scheme and i went with it so yes yeah, so we've got the fairford range from howland's and i'm going to go into more about the designing of the kitchen over on a blog post but basically that we designed it with them we tried a few different layouts and we actually ended up going with an option that robin wanted i didn't actually want this option but it actually just made sense and now being in the kitchen that option was 100 percent the best one that we could have gone with because originally i wanted the kitchen to be on one whole wall which is what we've got now you'll see that in a bit and i wanted the island to run parallel but a short like shorter depth and shorter width so it'd run parallel so you could be at your cooker turn around and then be at your sink and that's kind of what i wanted and i could see a lot of people had got that but it just wasn't feasible for us because it would have meant that we wouldn't have been able to fit a table in comfortably in the room so we decided to go for the island straight away as you walk into the room width ways and then have the kitchen run down the right hand side of the wall taking up the whole entire wall and then it meant that the table could go in front of the island and we've got so much space in here for activities like it's perfect so that's the design we went for and how does actually do lots of other bits and bobs as well so you can actually get your appliances from there 
the handles. We didn't actually get appliances from there. We actually got them ourselves and we put them on finance, which was really handy because I didn't think you could do that with Howden's. And then we got all the handles from there. And yeah, I'll go into more details about the nitty gritty stuff afterwards. But yeah, kitchen is from Howden's. So happy with them. So happy with the process. Really great price. And um, I would really highly recommend them. So yeah, once the extension was up, the kitchen was put in. We then got flooring in, the worktops, we started getting wallpaper done, the painting, the tiles. And yeah, I'm honestly so, so happy with this space. It is amazing. It is my dream kitchen, it's goals. And yeah, let's stop chatting now. I'm gonna go around the room and show you everything and talk to you about the space. As you walk into the kitchen from my utility room, this is how the space looks. I'm so excited to show you. Straight away, you've got our island. Love this island. It's such a nice little space. We've got these amazing worktops from Caesar Stone. Let me go in close and show you. See the reflection of our skylight there. These are our worktops. So these are from Caesar Stone. They are quartz worktops. They are a nice kind of like shiny material and yeah, I love them. They are basically white, but then it's got this amazing detailing in it. So it's kind of like marbling, but not. And um, yeah, I, I just love our worktops. I love them, like cleaning them like all the time. Um, but yeah, I love it. They're not the same, it's not symmetrical. It's just a bit random and I just love it because it's got this dark detailing where it kind of just complements the dark cabinets really, really well. Like, I love it. I'm so glad we went for this kind of color. Originally, I wanted to go for black worktops, which to be honest with you, probably would have looked cool, but apparently they're very hard to clean because you can see a lot of like smears in them. And also I feel like it would have made the kitchen look a little bit darker than what it is. And I thought it was nice because we were gonna have the white ceiling to kind of complement it with the white worktops. Um, but yeah, so I'll pop a link below. Caesar Stone actually kindly gave me a little bit of a discount, so thank you so much. It's been amazing to work with some, honestly, unreal brands doing my kitchen. I paid for the extension and the kitchen, and to be honest, I paid for the majority of it. I had probably through maybe five companies either gift me or give me a little bit of a discount, um, which is amazing, so super grateful for that. Or I got stuff on finance, because finance is amazing when you're doing renovations. Um, yeah, so, island, let's get back to it. So, yeah, the worktops are quartz. The reason we went for quartz was because they are durable, they are long-lasting, it's a great material for worktops. They are expensive, but it lasts and it looks amazing. They are really simple to clean, actually. However, they do stain easily and you shouldn't really apply too much heat. So, we have actually got, which I'll show you later, these glass kind of like placemat things on the worktops. And they even gave us a free um, chopping board heat plate thing, which is the same as the worktop. So, it's the same material. Obviously, it's scratched and stuff, but you can see that if you did apply heat to the worktop, that's what it would look like. But they give it to you because it just looks nice on your work surface to kind of blend in with the worktop. Um, but yeah, that's the island. Also, the dogs are in here. These are their beds. Please excuse them because they are playing and making noises. Right, island, butler sink. I always wanted a butler sink. I think it looks amazing. I love it. It's kind of in line with the house uh, being Victorian. And yeah, it just makes such a statement when you walk in and I love the fact that you can stand here washing up doing bits and bobs and you just look out onto this most amazing kitchen and then onto the garden which we will be doing eventually um, and making it look pretty but yeah so I love this I just love the way it looks in here we've actually got the bins so when you pull it out I'm not going to show you because bins are gross but there's three bins so we can do our recycling the food bin and then just general waste underneath the sink here we have, I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit dark actually. A bit of a messy cupboard, but we keep all of our cleaning products in there for the kitchen and bin bags and stuff. And then in this one, we've got a built-in dishwasher. 
which is so nice. Got a really good deal on this as it was the last one on show in Hughes Electricals. But I love it because it's got a cutlery drawer thing at the top and it's all stainless steel. So it's really long lasting. Um, but yeah, so we've kind of got in the island all of our cleaning things. So like bins for recycling, dishwasher for cleaning, sink for cleaning, cleaning process. It's kind of just like our cleaning place. Also at the island, we have a little bar area. So we've got these amazing bar stools gifted from Cult Furniture. Absolutely love these. I wasn't sure whether I was going to go for black or pink, but I went for this amazing black velvet and I really love the button detailing on the back and the brass and black legs. Like it just works and it just makes it look really chic. We got the worktop to hang over, I can't remember by how much. Also, it is a three, uh, 300 millimeter depth, the worktop, just so you know, um, if you're interested. Um, yeah, we got it to overhang a little bit just so we could tuck the bar stools under slightly. And it's just a nice little breakfast bar area if you want a cup of tea. Moving on to the tap. This is from Taps for Less. Love this. It was only 150 pounds. Gold taps are so hard to find and also they're so expensive. But yeah, love this one and um, also got the matching gold plug as well, obviously. Everything is gold in here, silver is banned. Another thing we've got as well is these brass plug sockets and light switches. There's the light switch. The, this one was actually made for us because of the different switches, but we actually got these from Screwfix. Um, really good price and yeah, I love them. Onto the wallpaper. This wallpaper is from Divine Savages. I love it. I love the colour. I love the design. Um, yeah, got my guy to hang it and he's hung it so well. And then we went for a black skirting board just to kind of break it up a little bit. And then the radiators are from Best Heating. Love these. So we actually got two of them. Woo, the other one's over there. Um, and we put them vertically because why not I think it looks cool it also breaks up this massive long wall of wallpaper and um, we even got gold valves at the bottom there if you can see I really want to spray paint the copper pipes um, but yeah got gold valves and I love these because you can see the wallpaper through the radiator and they keep in with the kind of like modern Victorian vibe that's going on Let's move on to the actual kitchen units now. So they go down the whole length of the right hand side of the room. In the first two, we have got the built in fridge freezer. So we haven't actually got much food in there at the moment. Um, but yeah, fridge and freezer. And then in here, which I tried to organize the other day, there we go, the lighting's a bit better now. So in this cupboard, that's just a bit of a random shelf. I need to kind of sort it out. But we've got alcohol, we've got our plastic bags at the top for food shopping. And yeah, and then in this bottom one, again, I need, really need to sort it out. It's kind of just a bit messy at the moment. But it's a nice, massive larder cupboard. I want to get some like little boxes and things to put in there and so I can stack stuff. I don't really know what that's for, to be honest. It's just a bit of a random cupboard at the moment. But yeah, moving on. We've got the drawer space either side of the oven. So in this side, I love these. So when you open them up, we've got all our pots and pans at the top. And then there's a secret drawer, which is cutlery. Well, not cutlery. It's all like the knives and like the kitchen utensils. That's it. And then the bottom one houses our saucepans. Bit messy, but... And then on the worktop, we have got the glass placemat thingy, chopping board thing, can't remember what it's called, that I mentioned to you about. I actually got this from Matalan. It's only six pounds and it protects the worktop. We've then got these, which are so good. So I really wanted a boiling hot tap, but basically it just wasn't possible in this kitchen. So I've got this black and gold matching kettle and toaster from Curry's. It is Russell Hobbs and it looks amazing. Like it matches the gold so well. Obviously got the sockets there. I'll go into the, to the tiles in a sec. And then just got a few little bits and bobs. We've got this amazing um, gold leaf 
foil tray from one of my Instagram friends called Bland Designer. I'll pop a link to his Instagram below. He does amazing stuff. We actually nearly got our work top in that. Then moving on to our glazed cupboards. So we actually got lights underneath to light the work top, which I love. And then we've actually got lights inside the cupboard as well. So in the cupboard, there's loads of stuff in the dishwasher, by the way. Um, we've got glasses on one side. And then the other side, We've got our little Jo Malone room sprays, which we love. And then uh, I've hidden my sweetener by my kettle. And then we've just got a selection of plates. The pink ones are from may.com and the black ones are from Ikea. And then next to the oven, we've got our little herb drawer and with our cooking oils and stuff. Super handy whilst you're cooking. And then onto the beast in the room, the Range Master oven honestly this is amazing so it's like the only one i could find that was black and gold i friggin love it we're missing a handle at the bottom by the way i totally need to put that on but we need to get a new screw for it um i love this so we actually got this on finance because they are so expensive but well worth the money you need one of these when you've got a big house and you want to host guests we're actually hosting christmas this year so it's super handy to have this we've got like the grill in here, we've got an oven in there, we've got an oven in the bottom, and then I think this bottom one is like a bread drawer thing. Um, but yeah, and then you've got the hobs, and then you've got this which lifts up, and you can actually cook on that electric bit there, and yeah, I love it. We've got the matching extractor fan at the top, which has got a light on it, so it lights it up. Oh, honestly, it's so girls, so girls. So the backsplash. Now, I didn't just want a backsplash. I mean, I did, but I thought it was better to extend the tiles the whole length of the kitchen wall that was left, basically, and above. So we've gone, and we didn't do above the uh, cupboards because you can't really see it, to be honest. But yes, yeah, so we went right above the extractor fan and all around underneath the top cupboards and above the worktops and i just think it looks amazing it's so symmetrical i love it and i love these tiles they match the wallpaper so well these are actually from best tile they're the artesian mallow rose um, i love the fact that they're all different like these ones are light and that one's a bit dark like it looks really cool and i got them applied in this kind of parquet effect because i thought it kind of just makes it more of a feature um, and it looks amazing like with the wallpaper and stuff. Like it just works so, so well. So I'm really pleased with that. Going to this pull-out drawer now, next to the oven the other side, we've got oven gloves. We've got these from Ikea, which are really handy. So obviously again, protecting the worktops. And then we did have some chopping boards in there, but I don't know where they are. Robin keeps putting stuff in different drawers. Then we've got these amazing gold knives from HomeSense. I friggin' love HomeSense. And also look at the terrazzo base, so on trend. And then this is the hot plate worktop protector thing that I was telling you about. Um, so it's nice that it kind of works with the worktop and matches. And then we've got another glass placemat thing, little plant, little book, and then more glazed cupboards. So in this side, we've got plates bowls and mugs from asda this is my favorite plate collection from asda how unreal so cheap as well and it looks so cute then this side we've got posh glasses and posh a posh candle from fornicetti i collect fornicetti i love that stuff and then the fornicetti teapot at the top and um yeah, and then some little Celeste bits that I got gifted for Christmas once, as in like a present, not gifted by a brand. Um, yeah, love it. Then onto these drawers. In this one, we've got more plates and bowls, um, and then like little serving dishes for like sauces and stuff, and another hidden drawer, which has got a cutlery in. Obviously, we've got gold cutlery, and we've got black cutlery. The gold cutlery, oh my God, I think it's from HomeSense, and the black is from Ikea. Um, and then we've got some extra knives in here just for this side of the kitchen if we're on that side. Serving, bits and bobs, and then the drawer below. We've got like chopping boards, baking trays, um, mixing bowls, Nutribullet, 
cling film like random bits and bobs in there. Now on to the final chunk of the kitchen unit. So as you can see, the two end ones kind of match but not match. So that end obviously we've got the fridge and stuff and then this end we've got a, quite a few different cupboards and drawers actually. This first one here is a larder. Oh my God, this is so goals. So we keep all of our food, kind of cupboard food stuff in here. Um, yep. Yeah. And then we've actually got another one this side where we keep more of our cupboard food. Do, 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 do. A little bit of crunching up, it's gluten free. Then we've got the most amazing built-in microwave. I spent so long looking for this because I wanted a black and gold one, um, but I found this one and it was on offer. It is from Class Dine and um, yeah, I really, really love it. Fits in so well and it's kind of like vintage -y looking. Um, and then above, we have got, um, let me just lighten this up. Whoa, here we go. We've got um, some just extra little bits like a toasty maker and a steamer and stuff, um, like slow cooker. And at the top we've got oh, that gold pineapple um, drinks dispenser and just some like kind of guests round for pre-drinks vibes going on up there. And then in the drawers below, we've got serving trays. I don't actually know what's on that. Uh, serving trays and plates. And then the one below, we've got the placemats and tablecloth is in there. We've got napkins in this Fauna Seti box. Napkins in there. So all our like, sort of, ooh, all of our sort of like tabley stuff is in there, basically. And yeah, that is pretty much the kitchen unit side of things. Um, super handy, we've got enough storage for everything. We've even got some extra space that we haven't really used yet. And yeah, I just, I just love it. Then onto the dining area of the room. Love this space. We've got so much space in between the island and the dining table. Like, so spacious. I love this. My dreams and my visions have come to life. So basically, we've got this black dining table from Maid. And I love the little feet because if you can see, it's got little brass feet. Works so well. Then we've got this dining bench, OVS in brass, from made.com as well. So those two are actually kindly gifted to me, which was amazing because obviously a table like that is very expensive and that really, really helped me out. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've got the gold bench to match and then I've got these really cute charcoal velvet seat cushions from H&M Home. Love this, this is actually a new addition. We got this from Podavache, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a vinyl um, rug. Like, it's literally just a bit of plastic. Uh, but I love the zebra print, it really works with the room. And basically, this little rascal here wheezes every night, so we couldn't really get a normal rug, but I love it and it works really, really well. So we just put that under the bench just to break up the floor area. Um, talking about the floor, actually, the floor is from Moduleo. I love the floor. It kind of looks quite realistic, I think, in terms of like wood. It's like a wood effect luxury vinyl tile. Um, it's really lovely to walk on. It feels nice under your feet. And it, I love the color and it works so well with the room. They kindly gifted me the flooring actually, but I um, paid someone to lay it. But yeah, I love it. I love the fact that it's all different and it just works so well. And this is the country oak style. I'll pop a link below to the exact name um, and number. But yeah, I love it. It just works so, so well with the space. Back to the table, guys. So in terms of chairs, I had seen something where basically it had a bench and then the two end chairs were different to the chairs on the other side. And I really liked that. And I thought it was another way of tying in all the colors within the colour scheme of this room. So, I went for these amazing pink velvet chairs with brass legs, obviously, from CK Living. And um, they weren't too badly priced, actually. And I really like the fact that they're kind of like proper big um, chairs at the end with the arms, like statement chairs. And then, so I've got them either side. And then here we go, we've got, um, and then here we've got 
So I've got them either end. And then here we've got three faux leather chairs from Cult Furniture. Um, they weren't too badly priced actually. And I love the kind of quilted detailing on the back. It sort of complements the bar stools. And I wanted to go for faux leather just to break up the velvet and add a different texture into the room and fabric. Um, but yeah, really, really like these. They're super comfy and they've got gold legs, which is so fab. And then here we've got a little mini feature, which I love. So I've got some candlestick holders from H&M Home, some gold vases from Made, these kind of gold leafy things from Zara, and then the fish glugging jug is from Frippery, a little local shop in Colchester, and then I've got some dried flowers, and that's kind of like my main centerpiece on the table just every day, which I love. I don't know whether you can see, but we've got this extra insert in the table here. Um, this table actually extends, so it extends from an eight seater to a 12 seater. We've actually got it extended kind of halfway, just so it's a bit more spacious with the chairs the other side. And because we've got the space, so it, it, it does fit, it works really well. We've got a nice gap either side. Um, but yeah, it extends, which is really, really handy. Sorry guys, I know this is a lengthy video, but I do think you are gonna be so excited about watching this and you wanna see all the seats. So, um, on to the skylight. This is a skylight above. I love it, it is huge. It lets so much light into the kitchen and it's right in the center of the room and I love it. Looks so friggin' cool. Then we've got this little window. Now this was a little idea that I had because um, originally we were going to have the kitchen island obviously like here. So I thought that would have been cool to be like in the walkway of like between the main kitchen and the island. But we obviously mixed the design up. But I actually wanted to keep this anyway because I think it's quite cool. It's nice. I put a uh, black planter there from Matalan and some more dry flowers. But it actually looks onto the courtyard. We actually need to go to the dump, guys, so please ignore all of that. Uh, but it looks onto the courtyard, which I think is really, really nice. And then also, you can see into my office. So it's nice to be able to look from my office through to the courtyard, through to in here, so it doesn't feel like you're so closed in when I'm in my office and looking out on brick wall, basically. Um, so yeah, so I love the addition of that window. And then the bifold doors. So goals. So they actually open up, so that door there on the end opens up singly and then those three fold back and we did that because it's just nice to kind of have a bit of a back door without opening the whole thing um so it's handy like for the dogs and stuff going out into the garden um so yeah it's gonna be so exciting next summer where we can actually open the whole doors and be able to have like outside inside if you get me and um yeah it's gonna be so nice especially like eating at that table in summer with the doors open or we can move that table out onto the patio like oh, so many options and this is the patio and then we've got the stairs going up into the main garden. Uh, garden obviously needs a lot of work, but yeah, that's the patio area. On to lighting. So we've got this lighting above the dining table. Got that from Wayfair.com, I think. But I like it because it just dangles over the dining table and makes a bit of a feature. And then we've got gold spotlights in the ceiling. Um, I can't remember where I got those from, but I'll try and find out. I think they were from Screwfix. If you just Google um, gold spotlights, loads come up so i've got those in the ceiling then obviously we've got those lights there and that's all the lighting that we have in here and it is enough right i think i'm pretty much there i think that is it i think that's all you need to know they the details that is my dreamy pink black and gold kitchen guys what do you think oh my god i'm so excited to hear what you think um yeah i hope you love it as much as i do i love the space um i just it's just so fancy i'm just so nice. Every time I walk in, I just feel like so much happiness and joy inside. I'm just like, I can't believe that this is my kitchen. And it is honestly like, it's just so nice. Like I can't even, like compared to our old kitchen, this is just a million times better. So much more storage. It's a nicer place to host. I can actually have people around for dinner now like we couldn't in our other house. Um, yeah, I love it. And I've popped links below to everything obviously i've done a blog post as well which i'll pop a link below to because i might have gone into more detail about some bits and bobs more than others um and sometimes it's easier to read than watch the video again um so yes yeah, so i've done a blog post and then i will be doing a blog post about the actual extension and showing more pictures of that 
and also the designing a kitchen and how we designed it and going into more details and showing like the architect's drawings and things like that so that will be coming and i will um probably let you well how will i let you guys know either yeah i'll let you guys know in my weekly vlog um when it's up or i'll put a little notification thing on youtube um but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i hope that wasn't too bulky and long i mean i think it is going to be long but it's definitely definitely worth it because i wanted to show you guys the ins and outs of everything and i know you lot have been waiting a long long time to see this kitchen so yeah thanks so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in another home renovation video hopefully very very soon peace out